in the history of time there have been some extraordinary individuals who have walked on this planet some of them have been great leaders some of them have been brave dreamers some of them have been fierce warriors and some of them have been passionate explorers no two people have ever been alike all of them have been extraordinarily unique in fact the fact is you and me are completely unique isn't it my fingerprint is unique my eye print is different uh there is not abundance of it but my hair print is also unique my voice print is unique my footprints are unique which means creation and science is screaming and saying narin you are unique you are the only one of its kind in the history of humanity there has been no one like you in the entirety of future there will be nobody like you and even today in the present there is nobody like you others are meant to inspire you you need not compare yourself to feel low or down or bad or not good enough with other people all these people who have been great leaders brave dreamers fierce warriors passionate explorers a people who just explored their uniqueness and lived an exceptional life each one of us you and me are unique on this planet and each one of us has a unique role to play on this planet each one of those great people have been special and they played a role in the story of human kind each was a force in their own way and they created new pathways through the choices that they made now centuries have separated some others were kept apart by oceans yet they all shared one secret they were bound by the same force of life they were all bound by the same force you too are bound by that force what makes me alive what makes you alive what made all of them alive and what makes everybody alive is the same life force which means the essence of a human being is the same and it resides in each one of us the power which was wielded the power which was harnessed by those leaders and heroes and warriors and explorers can be wielded by you too with this is the conviction let's go deep into the session what makes a human being great what is the foundation of greatness two very simple things very simple things mastery over my emotions and mastery over my thoughts every now and then we will be disappointed by life every now and then we will have some self doubts every now and then we will feel harmful emotions in every now and then there will be a thought of being defeated because of our negative emotions if you and me no ways by which we can master these negative thoughts and negative emotions if we can make peace when all around us things are in chaos when we feel connected to that power even when things are not going right in our life you and me can unleash our greatness each one of these great human beings knew how to harness their potential 
not because they were exceptional but they learned how to master their thoughts and master their feelings in today's session let's discuss a few very beautiful yet very powerful uh, small small processes where if you are consistent with them you will also take a few steps towards mastering your negative thoughts and mastering your negative emotions let us practice their secrets let us master their skills and let us develop the power to harness the greatness within each one of us there is a very simple secret which is there in the vedas which is also expounded quite a lot in jainism and what is that secret and what is it that they say they say veda says to live well learn how to breathe well in other words if you wish to live well learn how to breathe well but all of us will say right that or you are breathing well means what we have been breathing only from the time we are born we have been breathing what is there to learn in breathing yeah you and me can talk but communication is a very different thing isn't it you and me can run but running training is very different isn't it uh i had thoughts about yaar bhagne mein seekhne ka kya ho to pair mein thoda taakat hona chahiye thoda stamina hona chahiye acche se bhag lenge usse zyada kya hoga bhagne mein because we have been running forever right as a child as a youth in school in college we have been running so what is there to learn in running till i got a running coach whose name is shanti exceptional woman and she taught me beautifully well first day when she saw me running she asked me now and then do you have pain in your heels I said yes now and then do you have pain in your shin I said yes now and then she said do you feel pain in your shoulders and i said yes how did she know all of this she said when you are running you are landing on your heels you should run on the balls of your feet i attempted a few steps and she said are you running on the balls of your feet I said yes she said okay the proof that you are running on the balls of your feet is your feet will make no sound when you land and as i observed i found oh my god i am making so much sound it's like thop 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 somebody 20 feet ahead of me is able to hear somebody is coming from behind i was almost sounding like a truck and then she showed me as she runs how she lands on the balls of her feet i would have ran that month about 100 kilometers no pain in the heel no pain in the shin then she said when you run you're pulling your shoulders back relax i didn't to run and she said do you think you are relaxed I said yes then she said okay do one thing just look towards the ground as you run and as i started looking towards the ground as i run i could feel my shoulders coming in front and she said that is the right posture for your shoulders i was stunned what i've been doing for the entire life i didn't know i was making mistakes i didn't even realize that there is a science in running it is not just about putting one feet in front of the other breathing is similar i know you and me have been breathing since we are born but there are some breathing techniques which helps us to breathe right and that is what vedas meant when they said to live well learn how to breathe well i love to say this but everybody who knows how to breathe deep and well will have a chance to live a long life look at the animals which have a short life 
like a dog. And how does the dog breathe? <laughs> Fast. Shallow. And if we breathe similarly, we are inviting death. Okay. Oh, oh, aja, aja, oh, oh, aja. Second, when you are angry, how do you breathe? We start panting. When you are peaceful, how do you breathe? Imagine you are on a beach. Let's say Bali. Imagine you are there in a hammock and you have a pina colada in your hand. How will you be breathing? Like this. Especially if somebody has paid for that vacation. Ah, kya mala hai. Wow. When you are relaxed, you breathe well is what you believe. The opposite is also true. When you breathe well, you relax. Today, we are going to discuss about some breathing techniques. Each one of these breathing techniques will help you in gaining mastery over your thoughts. It will help you to develop focus. It will make you composed. It will help you to defeat your fear and therefore become courageous. It will help you with health. You will become fitter. It will help you become graceful because you are not agitated. It will help you let go of your hurt and you will develop forgiveness as an easy virtue. It will help you to become attentive. It will help you become positive. It will help you to become resilient. And each one of these processes, that this is a very simple processes. It will take less than five minutes for you to explain that process to anybody. So with this is the background. Understanding the importance of right breathing for right living. Let's begin the processes. The first process that we discuss is called the breath of the adventure. Words, even if they're the same words, mean different things to different people. You want to live a fresh life, powerful life. Learn to look at everything with power. And that is where the statement is there in the breath of adventure. The biggest fears are actually the biggest opportunities. What you are scared of the most, on the other side, lies a lot of development, lot of abundance. Like my darling wife, Bharti was very scared of heights. And yet once she decided, and she did paragliding. And the kind of composure she has developed, having conquered that fear, is so beautiful and exceptional. We did that, I think, about three years ago. And today, so many people who meet Bharti after about five years would say, I've never seen Bharti so happy and so positive. The biggest of your fears had the biggest of opportunities hiding just behind. And one kind of breathing will help you to master that fear. It's a very simple breathing process. And we call it as the breath of the adventurer. Why adventurer? Because at the end of that fear, you have a lot of opportunity. Now, how do we do this breathing? Chala. Uh, let's start in a very comfortable pose. You can be seated on the floor in a chair or maybe even standing in a neutral position. Make sure your back is straight, your neck and shoulders are relaxed and now close your eyes. Breathe normally for a few seconds. Pay attention to your breathing without forcing anything.
just feel the air swooshing in and out of your nose. Observe which body parts are moving as you breathe. So this was the preparation. Now let's move into the breath of the adventurer. You will inhale through your nose. First fill up your stomach and then fill up your chest. And then hold the filled stomach and chest just for three seconds. And then you will exhale slowly through your mouth. Okay, I'll guide you. Inhale through your nose. Fill up your stomach. Fill up your chest. Three, two, one. Open your mouth and exhale. Feel your stomach deflate as you slowly Exhale through your mouth. Hold it just for a second. Inhale again with your mouth closed. Fill your stomach. Fill your chest. Hold for three seconds. And exhale. Let's do this five times. Inhale. Stomach. Chest. Three, two, one. Open mouth. Exhale gently. Hold for one second. Inhale. Fill your stomach. Chest. Three, two, one. Hold. Release from your mouth. Do it three more times. Gently open your eyes. Very, very gently. Please open your eyes. Super. Now I will take you through a series of very simple breathing techniques. I will show you every breathing, then I'll ask you to close your eyes and then I'll gently guide you. The second breathing that we are going to practice is called the breath of the ocean. Now this kind of breathing is normally done when you are irritated or frustrated and you want to gain control over yourself. Because anything that you do or you think in this way of negativity is always harmful. It is never helpful. We believe in life school that when you master your emotions, you actually master your responses to life. And if you are a slave to your emotions, then you are a slave to any action which might come out of you, which will fill your life probably with regrets. So what is this breath of the ocean? What do we do? How do we do uh, breath of the ocean? It's very simple. The idea is when you breathe in and you breathe out, you make a sound. So the breathing is not done silently. So it's like the sound has to be made. And then when you exhale, So let's do it. Please close your eyes. Close your eyes. Normal breathing. Observe which of your body parts are moving as you breathe in and breathe out. Sit in a comfortable position. Make sure your neck and shoulders are relaxed. 
Now take a few deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth to get started. And whenever you feel comfortable, inhale making a sound when you exhale your mouth is open and let's do it seven times. See, if it sounds gently like the sound when you stand on the birth of the oceans and as you listen to the waves coming and touching the shores. Chalo, let's do it seven times. Three, two, one, start. Whenever you're done, please open your eyes. It's compulsory to smile for 30 seconds at the end of this process. I know for some people it's a challenge. But anyway, smile. Okay, show me how many teeth you have. Ah, now people are smiling. My God, what all techniques I have to find to make people smile. And I'm scrolling through all the screen. Huh? Madhu is still breathing. Madhu darling. Okay. Varsha, big smile please. Ah, sabko dekh rahe main. I don't have time. Otherwise, I would have pulled a few more people. Good. Now let's go to third kind of breathing. This is called the breath of the lightning. You, you love this. The breath of the lightning. The truth is, the higher energy levels you have, the better you will be able to perform. When you are drained, when your energy levels is low, you can't do it. Now even the children want to study. But they are feeling drained, they are feeling low, they are feeling, they don't have enough energy, they are feeling a little tired. What do they do? Breath of lightning. Now when you do breath of lightning, because it is monsoons, if by coincidence you listen to thunder over there, don't say, oh, wow, kamal ho gaya. And does not mean that if there is a lightning somewhere, somebody else somewhere is doing breath of lightning. This has got nothing to do with the world and existence. This has got everything to do with you and your energy levels. Okay. So don't think that both days if barish ni hui yaar, let me practice breath of lightning. Now it will help you, but it may not bring monsoons closer. And I'm just clarifying in case some of you start thinking that you know they're saying that when Tansen used to do. Uh, Rag Vidya, then lamps would come on, uh, Meg Malhar, and rains will come. Uh, I know last to last session we discussed about you are a super human being, glad man, and all that stuff. But even glad man has some limits. So be glad with that. All people who want to be performers, they understand the value of high energy level. Enthusiasm is energy made visible. You feel good in the presence of enthusiastic people. They feel like they are in charge of life. They are in control of their life. And dull people who cannot even smile, they don't empower people. We don't fill the atmosphere with positivity or energy. So, let us practice breath of lightning 
to fill ourselves with energy. Some sophisticated people do not like these processes because they are thinking to a large extent is what will people think of me. The truth is, trust me, nobody is interested in you. Nobody is interested in you. You be interested in yourself, which will be a very, very smart thing to do. So what is breath of lightning? It's a very simple process. Again, what you will do, sit in a comfortable position, be seated on the floor or on the chair. Uh, then what will you do? Make sure that your back is straight. Make sure that your shoulders and necks are relaxed. Then what will you do? Take a few deep breaths through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe deep from your belly. With every breathing preparation, fill in your belly with air. Then what will you do in breath of lightning? You will close the right nostril and with your left open nostril, you will breathe out and in fast 10 times. Hmm? Now, as you breathe out fast 10 times, you will feel that your uh, belly is getting contracted and expanded very fast, which is how it should be. So what we will do? 10 times very fast from here. Then 10 times very fast from here. And then 10 times very fast with both the nostrils open. So it's a very simple process. How do we do it? Just watch me. Then I'll ask you to close your eyes. And then you will do this process. How do we do it? Breathe in properly. And this was one. At the end of doing it even once, you will suddenly find that you are more alert. You might realize that the room is brighter. You might be able to hear things which you were not able to hear earlier. So you and me will do this now seven times. Okay? Please close your eyes. Watch your breathing. Watch the body parts which are breathing. Which are the body parts which are moving as you breathe? Completely expand your belly as you breathe in and gently let it contract as you breathe out. Don't force anything, but just observe the breathing. And whenever you're ready, let's start practicing the breath of the lightning. First, right hand, close the right nostril, and with the left nostril, then close the right nostril, then keep both the nostrils open. Beautiful. Now let's close the right nostril. Let's do it in continuation, huh? no break. Close the other nostril. Open both the nostrils. Take one relaxing breathing. Deep Aram say. Let's start the next one. Close the right one. Ten times. Close the left nostril. Ten times. Open both the nostrils. Ten times. Take a deep breath, relax yourself. For the final time, close the right nostril with the left nostril. Close the left nostril with the right nostril.
open both the nostrils fast. Now just breathe normally three times. Smiling at the end of every process is compulsory. Now you will take one hand, this finger, raise it high up to the skies and say, yes. You are getting lightning from there. Yeah, energy is coming Say, yes. That's all. Fingers pointing and all looking up. You are telling him, boss, now we are connected. When you do these things inside the classroom with the children, the children will get connected with you easily. Otherwise, I don't want you to look like the clone of Ramdev Baba. You should be fun. It's almost like you're just on the verge of moksha. जहाँ तेरी ये नजर है मेरी जा मुझको खबर है बच न सका कोई and like this you should also sing in the class then the kids will say this is a cool teacher you know in one of the classes we got this in the chat box ये teacher कितने मस्त है ये अपने को अपने स्कूल में teacher होते कितना मजा आता and in this class, there are three teachers who are sitting in that session. And the child is writing, must maza aata. Aur uska naam dikh raha hai. Please pray for the safety of that child for his entire class 10th standard. He just told three teachers ke tum log must nahi ho. <laughs> now let's do the next breathing, which almost all of you know. In the earlier breathing that we did, that was not Kapal Bhati, that was not Bastika. That was something which was a very introductory, sweet thing, which will actually release your entire breathing apparatus brilliantly well. We don't have time, otherwise I would have gone into large details on why it helps all of us. In this session, we are just discussing about simple techniques that you need to do. The next one that we are doing is a very simple one. Again, it's little modified, modified so that it's easy for the children to do. Uh, it's called the breath of the bee. You would have heard this bigger breathing. Uh, we are not doing exactly that, but inspired by that. The objective of telling this to children is to make them focus and help them when their mind is very distracted. Some kids have an overreactive mind, an overactive mind. If they can do this process, breath of the bee, quite regularly, it will help them. See, with every process, we have given a very strong statement. So with breath of the bee, what they say is, when you are focused, you are powerful. When tube light is there, it lights up a room. But when that rays become focused, it becomes laser, it can even cut a diamond. That's why we say, when you are focused, you are powerful. And this process will help children to be focused. What do we do? Very simple. Start in a comfortable position, be seated on the floor or on the chair, relax your shoulders, make sure your back is straight, uh, neck should also be relaxed. And every process begins with Take a few deep breaths and feel the expansion of your belly as you breathe in and breathe out. Now what do we do? Now in a classic breaker process, what we do is we tell the children, take your middle fingers and close your ears. There are also some people who will say, take your thumb and close your ears and then take these fingers, put one on your forehead, just above your eyelids, put the other on your eyebrows, put just below your ears and put it over here. So this is another thing that we do. Now this is too complicated for most children right now. And it takes a little training to get all these things right. So what we are going to do, we are going to simplify it. 
What are we going to do? Inhale. Just close your ears. Take the palms. In the palm, there is a natural hollow. And with this palm, just close your ears like this. And as you close, inhale. And as you exhale, make that humming sound. What you can also tell the children is, if you want to see the variation, just open your jaws and close the jaws. Open the jaws and close the jaws. And you will find the impact of humming inside your head will change just by the opening of the jaws and closing of the jaws with your mouth remaining closed. So the mouth doesn't open, but just to show to you with an open mouth. If you do this, you will see the difference. Now do the same thing with the mouth closed. So in this process, we do it with the mouth closed. In case the children want to feel that variation so that they get excited or they are so yaar, ask them to little open the jaws and close it and they'll be able to see it. So what do we do in the process? Close the eyes, bodies are completely relaxed. Inhale, close the ears. And as we exhale, do the humming sound. If you want to feel the variation, opening and closing of the jaws slightly, let's do it seven times. Close your eyes. Shift your focus to your breathing. Breathe consciously. Watch your body part which is participating in the breathing. And now whenever you feel like, let's do breath of the bee. Close your ears. Inhale. With exhalation, make the humming sound. Mm. Do it seven times. Whenever you're done, gently open your eyes and for 30 seconds, smile. Tushar Lahurkar Bhau, smile kara. smile my hesitation I, I haven't read today's newspapers but till last night there was no tax on smiling you feel good when you smile I know you might say I feel good when I get a new phone but for the time being please manage with that smile okay next breathing now this is exciting uh, this many, many kids would love and this almost all of us need. Over here in this breathing pattern, you will need to get completely connected with me and listen to my instructions. The ideal way to do this breathing is by lying down on the bed. It is Sunday morning. I am not taking any chance with any of you lying down on the bed and doing this process. The process is supposed to last for about three minutes. If you lie down and do, it might last for two hours. And after two hours, you might wake up and ask, session ho gaya? I don't want to take the chance. So let's do this process as you are sitting. The breath of the steel. 
how do we do this breathing ideally lying down but today um close your eyes right away shift your focus to your breathing breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth feel your belly expanding as you inhale and gently contracting when you exhale what we are going to do is we are going to flex different body parts and we are going to relax them also a lot of our stress and tension lies in our muscles that's why muscularly we feel tired if we had a day which had a lot of stress or anxiety what we are going to do is we are going to artificially contract these muscles which means tighten it as much as you can make it as tight as possible and then you will relax it completely as relaxed as you can make it we will hold the tight for 5 seconds so that's the whole process i will tell you shift your entire attention to a body part and as i say that you will completely tighten it and make it like steel itna tight karne ka and keep it tight for only 5 seconds i will give you the count down 5 4 3 2 1 and then i'll tell you relax it completely it will also make you shift your attention to the body parts which is required which means it will also bring focus into you it helps you to conquer sleeplessness restlessness anger agitation very simple process but a beautiful process so now let's do the process let us start with our feet flex your foot muscles by pointing them up and curling your toes upwards and hold them tightly for 5 seconds as you inhale 5 4 3 2 1 exhale and relax completely so let's do this again you don't have to lift your legs your legs are still absolutely relaxed on the ground it is only your feet leg is that full body part feet is that small part which lands on the ground so when i say start you will curl up your fingers of your feet and attempt to make it look upwards towards the skies okay so as you inhale you will inhale to a count of 5 and keep them very tight and as you exhale you will completely relax it so it begins with the feet and then we go to the different body parts so let's start again 3 2 1 flex your foot muscles hold them up point them up curl your toes 3 2 1 relax feel the tension flood out of those muscles as you breathe out so tight as you inhale relax as you exhale now let's move up our body one muscle group at a time let's hold each muscle group for 5 seconds as you breathe in tighten the muscles unless they are as hard as steel and then completely relax them as you exhale now shift your attention to your thighs just become aware of your thighs I give you a countdown of three, two, one. When I say three, two, one, when I say one, you will take a deep inhalation, and as you inhale, you will tighten your thighs as if they are now of steel. Three, two, one. Tighten your thighs. Three, two, one. Completely relax. Feel tension flood off your your muscles as you exhale. Now let's go. to our shock observers otherwise known as hips you will not tighten your hips when i tell you 3 2 1 5 4 3 2 1 you will relax them at the end of it 3 2 1 tighten your hips still relax
Now let's focus on our stomach. Three, two, one, tighten your stomach. Eat them, steal. Relax. Now let's go to our chest muscles. This is where a lot of stress happens. Three, two, one. Tighten your chest. Relax. Now let's go to our shoulders. Three, two, one. Tighten your shoulders as much as you can. Steal. Completely relax. Now our entire hand, the arm and the hand and the palms and the fingers of the hand, the full thing, let it become steel. Three, two, one, the full arm. Relax. Now let's go to the neck. Most of us do not know, but the neck is one area which accumulates the maximum stress. So it's time for us to relax that. First we will tighten it. Three, two, one, tighten the neck. Steel. Relax. And now finally, it is your facial muscles. You know, when we are stressed, anxious, the eyebrows immediately shrink. The cheeks seem to harden. The jaws tighten. The eyes also get a lot of stress. So now we are going to tighten it to steel and then we are going to completely relax. Your face now. Three, two, one, tighten, steel, relax. Smile with your eyes closed. Gently open your eyes. Smile. It's almost like a premium product. Smile. Okay. After this intense process, let's go for a very, very relaxing process. What is the next process? The breath of the conqueror. What does this process do? This process will help you to have a very calm mind. What is this process? Very simple. You will take the palms, again the natural hollow in the palms. With this you will just cover your belly button. You know that cute little part that you have on your belly? From where the umbilical cord attached you to your mother? That's called the belly button. It is not the button on the shirt which is next to your belly. It is belly button in your body. What you want to do is, with the palm, you are going to cover it. And then when you breathe, you will just gently watch the gentle rise and fall of your belly as you breathe in and breathe out. No force, but just become aware of it. Some of you who have been doing pranayam for a long time or you have been meditating for some time, you will feel that there will be some kind of an energy or suction which will happen between this part and the belly. If it happens, let it be. Hmm? Let's do it seven times. Please close your eyes. First breathe normally. 
you begin every process by asking the kids to breathe very regularly and normally now take your right hand the palm and place it on top of your belly button and just observe the gentle rise and fall of your belly as you breathe in and breathe out count to 7 times Whenever you are done with seven, gently smile and open your eyes. Okay. Now let's go for the second last breathing process that we are going to do for the day. This is called the breath of the explorer. Now exploration means movement. It will not be possible for us to do this process inside the classroom. But this is a breathing process that I want you to teach to the children. and ask them to practice at their convenience similarly this is a process that we will not be able to do today but whenever you feel like you should do this let's say you have a very tough day do this process a few times let's say you have back to back important meeting between the first meeting and the second meeting do this process for a little while none of the processes that we discuss takes more than 5 minutes to do none of the process takes more than 5 minutes to do on an average our inhalation and exhalation even if it is deep is about 10 seconds if we are asking children to do it 7 times it's about 70 75 seconds and if you are asking them to shift their focus onto your breathing what's their breathing properly that's another 15 20 30 seconds at the end of the process we ask them to smile that is another 30 seconds and for you to explain the process okay this is how we are going to do the process not more than 2 minutes so each process explanation as well as action should take about 5 minutes in today's session we are discussing eight different breathing processes with you one which you and me will not be able to do is the process of the breath of the explorer but seven the kids will definitely be able to do inside the classroom um i leave it to you for you to decide how many you want to do do a minimum of five inside the classroom and of course a maximum of seven what is this breath of the explorer to do this process what you're going to do is you're going to stand on your feet you want to close your eyes and feel your feet on the ground and then you want to shift your entire focus on your natural breath you don't want to force anything at all just natural breath the natural breathing normally is done with your mouth closed So this is natural breathing. What we are also going to go for deeper natural breathing is now. This will also ensure that everybody is focused when they are breathing. When I breathe and I do natural breathing, chances are I'll slip into distractions, especially because my eyes are closed. So to ensure that my mind does not run away. what we do is ask them to exhale with their mouth open 
So first natural breathing and then When they do that, they are focused in the present. Hence, the breathing exercises will help them beautifully well. So in this, what do we do is, first, become alert to my feet on the ground. And then, again, normal natural breathing, not too much exaggerated. You don't have to struggle to breathe deep. And then what we do is, watch the belly sink in when I exhale. So when we exhale, the belly has a tendency to go in. Now what we will do is, now this is what is the breath of the explorer. You will start very gentle walk. So as you inhale, let's say take three steps. As you exhale, take three steps. Inhale, take three steps. Exhale, take three steps. What you can also do, which is more natural for most people is, inhale for three steps and exhale for four steps. One step extra during exhalation. So inhale, exhale. Exhalations are done with the mouth open. Now, they can do this for seven natural breaths. So, which means wherever you are walking, there should be place for you to walk for seven breaths. In other words, three plus four steps, seven steps. Seven breath means about 50 steps. So, if I space, which is about 50 steps, fantastic. If not, do I have space for 25, 30 steps? Then I go, then I take a U-turn and I do like it. But if you have a place where you can have 50 steps, nothing like it, nothing like it. So this is the uh, breath of the explorer. Now let's go for the final process. Now this final process, of course, is the deepest process. Uh, that is why we do this as the final process. If we do this process as the first process, it won't work. This is also the process where we will ask the children to visualize along with you. Which means they should be completely connected to your voice. And as you explain to them, ask them to be completely connected to you. Whatever you say, with zero resistance, they should be able to imagine that. And your voice should also be very relaxed and chilled. Your voice should not be hurried. You yourself should be very relaxed when you ask them to go through this process. So what I'm going to do is, I'm also going to take all of you through this process, which is called the breath of the cosmos. Why it is the breath of the cosmos, you will understand as we are doing the process. This can be a very, very deep process for you. This can be a very, very healing process for you. You may not know what all you are holding inside. And therefore, when you do this process with connection and surrender, you might find yourself light. And you might also be surprised at what you have been holding within you. So let's just do this process with complete surrender and complete connection. So sit in a comfortable position. Be relaxed, whether you are on a chair or a floor. Even if you are standing, absolutely okay. Make sure your back is straight. Make sure your neck and shoulders are relaxed. Close your eyes and breathe normally. Breathe in slowly through your nose, fill up your belly and then your chest. 
remember the first breathing exercise that we did? Hold it just for a second or two and then gently exhale. So as you inhale, you'll fill up the belly and then your chest. Hold it for a second or two and completely exhale. As you inhale, watch your stomach gradually moving ahead. As you exhale, watch your belly contracting inside a little. Now, just shift your attention on the feelings that make you feel bad. Can you think about anything which recently made you feel bad? Think about people or experiences, disappointments and hurt that made you feel bad. Sometimes it can be strangers who made you feel bad and sometimes it can be the person you love the most who made you feel bad. Now imagine these bad feelings are dust particles floating in your body. In the entirety of your life, all the bad feelings that you have kept within See them as dust particles floating in your body. Now as you inhale, you are visualizing pulling all these dust particles inside your stomach and chest. You are withdrawing all the dust particles which are your bad feelings in different parts of your body. You are pulling all of them towards your chest and stomach. With every breath, Pull them towards your chest and stomach. Now as you inhale, picture this dust of bad feelings gathering up in a smoky ball. All these dust particles which are bad feelings inside you are coming together in the form of a smoky ball.
as you inhale, see the ball becoming closer and smaller. Exhale out of your mouth. And as you exhale, imagine you are blowing this dust out, this smoke out towards the skies. So tilt your neck just that little. Lift your mouth just that little. As you inhale, the dust is coming together in the form of a ball in your stomach and chest. As you exhale, you exhale with your mouth open and you throw that smoke and dust out from your system. Breathe at least seven times like that. Gather the dust in the ball as you inhale. Blow it away into the cosmos as you exhale. Gather as you inhale. Blow it into the darkness of the cosmos as you exhale. Breathe deep. Gather all the dust and bad feelings together in the ball. Breathe out that smoky dust as you exhale. Let's do it for a final one time. Smile, feel light and bright. And very, very gently, whenever you feel light, open your eyes. So we began with the breath of the adventurer. We went on to the breath of the ocean. We moved to the breath of lightning. We practiced the breath of the bee. We then moved into the breathing of steam. Then it was the breath of the conqueror. Because those negative things have to be conquered. Then it was the explorer. When you slow things down and become very peaceful. And then we cleaned our conscious and subconscious mind through the breath of the cosmos. Where whether we have fear, whether we have guilt, whether we have shame, whether we have sadness. Any negative emotion, negative feeling that we have kept inside our entire life unknowingly, we attempted to clean it off our system. At an individual level, when you do this process by yourself, all these processes put together will not take more than 20 25 minutes. At an individual level, you need not do all the processes every day. Ideally, you should be able to do 
two or three processes every day. There are times when you might want to do only one process for a long time, which is also absolutely okay. Ask the children to do these processes three times a day. And I'm saying this to you too, ask, do these processes three times a day. Ideally, before your breakfast, before your lunch, before your dinner. Do one process if you feel, do it for a minimum of five minutes. You will reach a stage where your breathing will get aligned to your body. You do these practices for a few days and you will find naturally you are able to breathe deep. What you will see is what used to make you upset is not able to shake you anymore. You will find things for which you used to stay upset for a long time, you are able to overcome it faster. You will find you are not judging people anymore. Forgiveness is almost instantaneous. You are not making things very personal. You will find compassion for others and gratitude for yourself becoming a part of your life. The fact is breathing is the most natural thing that you and me do. And yet the fact is we have not been able to harness the power of breathing. For you to be the master of your emotions, you need not go for a 10-day holiday somewhere. All you need to do is, all you need to do is breathe properly. That song, Shankar Mahadevan, from the album Is It So, Kabir, said, मैं तो तेरे पास रहे तुम अगर मुझे खोजोगे तुरंत मिल जाऊंगा एक पल की एहसास में एंड दिस इज व्हाट दिस प्रोसेस कैन डू टू यू आई एम नॉट इवन टॉकिंग अबाउट मेडिटेशन स्पिरिचुअलिटी एवोल्यूशन अबंडेंस बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेशन इनसाइड द क्लासरूम for the children, what is important is the benefits that they will get out of the process. And what are the benefits that we are telling them? You will become focused, you will be composed, you will be courageous, you will be healthy, graceful, forgiving, attentive, positive, resilient, peaceful. Which are what the children need to live a great life. Unknowingly, they will also become spiritual or ready to evolve spiritually whenever they feel like in their life. The quality of their life and the standard of their performance both will go up. For adults, you and me, who have already moved on the path of materialistic world, earnings, etc. The quality of life and standard of life both will improve when we sit and do these processes. The processes don't have a miracle. It's not that they open up the uh, ocean of abundance for you. But it makes this entire system ready to perform at its peak. It makes the system ready to stay away from the impact of negativities which otherwise life will throw towards us. It helps us to become peaceful with our emotions, even when things are going wrong in life. It helps us to defeat negative thoughts. And it helps us to stay positive and have a great outlook towards the future. And all this is possible with no equipment, don't need anything else 
you just need to be physically wherever you are close your eyes shift into your breathing and gain mastery over your life so koi equipment nahi chahiye koi special place nahi chahiye koi environment nahi chahiye koi company nahi chahiye because wherever you are i trust you take your body with you so wherever you are you are all the time breathing all we need to do is harness the power of breathing breathing has extraordinary power in a vision pray you do this process well which include the last process which is a cleansing process and just watch the impact it makes on your life you don't have to do the last process every day you can do it once a week and it is good enough for us and trust me unknowingly we gather a lot of negative emotions and negative thoughts in the duration of a week so in a week if you do it you will slowly and steadily find yourself more peaceful more alert making better choices in life responding to things better and that is exactly what vedas promise to us for you to live well breathe well without breathing right you cannot live right it's a very very powerful statement it's a very huge statement and it's an absolute true statement without breathing right you will not be able to live right so let's breathe well and let's live well now imagine how we are developing the entire kmm sessions now we have given them self belief we have given them power we have given them a vision now we are giving them tools by which they should be able to handle the moments in life when we might end up either making mistakes or falling very badly and hurting ourselves when you practice this for yourself then when you go inside the classroom to take the session your voice itself will be different the impact will be different and if you go there without practicing the smart kids any day will still take it from you but there will be some small gap which will exist so my request is minimum once a day sit and do this process two or three of these breathing if not all if possible do it three times a day and just watch what happens to you trust me on this for the next 10 days 10 days do it for 5 minutes three times a day and tell me what is happening to you and then when you take it for children inside the classroom mm-hmm. it will be transforming for the children and you will feel very very good about yourself so much chaos in the world is there today because we don't know how to handle our emotions we become so violent we we start breaking things and we start harming and hurting people bahut jaldi you will find people at home becoming so angry so often and you love these people so my final request before we end today's session is share these processes with people at your home make these processes as a part of your workplace gather everybody right from the lady who cleans the office to the chairman of your organization which might be a professional person or your own father and tell them can we begin our morning is by 5 minutes of just right breathing let's see what it does there is no harm right there's no possibility of any harm and there is only possibility of help so spread it into as many lives as possible this is a very different process right from the highest that was there in the session number 1 2 and 3 which was like pump and strong and power this session is all about the inner power <clears throat> so wish you all the best thank you so much for being a part of keep moving movement 
I'm looking forward to sharing two very good news with you next time. And please do come before time to the sessions. I saw almost 70 of them coming a little late. Not the right thing for us to do. We should be before time every time. Thank you so much. Love you all. And have a great week.